Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can uh, find all the enhancements that are getting called in the Miko transaction. So the transaction code is ANST. Okay, so you go here and here you give a uh, description and here we see me. Okay, and here I execute. The moment I execute, here I will get the PO number, suppose the PO number and here I'll just use suppose I want to do one quantity and I want to save it and probably have to hit OK here and I click posting only possible this okay there's posting problem I adjust the date to something that is postable uh, and here I click on post and the moment this gets saved, a material document will get generated. And in this meantime, you know, it's going through all the validation of entering a goods receipt. So it will take some time. So once it's done, we can see what are the different enhancements that are getting called. So it's taking some time. Let's see. Uh, and this is an S4 HANA system, just to let you know. So, Migo is, was there for a long time, <clears throat> but it was mostly used for inventory item. And MB01 was used for service related goods receipt. MB01 has been replaced completely. And is, there is only Migo now. Okay, so if I hit the back button now, and uh, the moment I hit the back button, you can see the trace is running. And it takes some time, okay, just to let you know. Uh, but the moment you get these things, you can find all the enhancements that are getting caught. Okay, so let's wait. Still 56%, and this is a S4 HANA system, so um, lots of time depends upon the network speed of your computer and all those things. The charger is messing up. Let's see. Yes, everything needs to be charged nowadays. So let's see. Mm. So now we we'll convert. This, this this is taking some time because probably there's more there are lots of enhancements in Migo. So at the moment it will come to hundred percent. We'll see. And uh, so if you notice in the meantime here you can, if you notice the goods receipt we did is 101. Just for paying invoices. Now, if you want to reverse it, it would be 102. Anything which is odd number is going out, okay? And which is uh, means means you are going to pay. If it is even, that means you are reversing. That's the that's the two cent tips I have for you all. Uh, also, here the document date, posting date matters. Um, the MB01 for some reason it was much easier, uh, but with Migo it's a little difficult. If you find it more difficult, you can check to do goods received through the mobile app, Fury app. There is one out of the box Fury app which you can use, um, and there's videos on that. So if you search in my channels, you can find the video on how to do goods receipt through a mobile app. Now you cannot do a reverse goods receipt through the mobile app. It basically only calls a Migo in the back end. So that's one drawback. Otherwise, if you want to do 101, then you can do it. So let me see, 98% complete. So it's taking some time and here you can see you enter the purchase order number the delivery note in some companies is mandatory it's ideally the delivery note is the invoice reference number that is provided in an invoice or sometimes if the delivery ideally what happens is the invoice the goods appears and then you get a delivery note in the truck okay so then you put that but lots of times what happens is you get the invoice first because of all the EDI process and all those things 
so you get the invoice and actually you do the goods receipt only after you receive the part because through EDI you can through EDI or whatever XML um, e, e, e receipt means e invoice you get the invoice first before you get the product like an Amazon or you Walmart you buy something right or Flipkart you first pay it and then you get the stuff so here in the actual world what happens is you first buy it you pay it later on in the corporate life okay so after you get the, so suppose you want to buy something in Best Buy or Walmart you want to buy your laptop first you pay them and then you get the laptop in companies where you work first you buy the laptop you get it then you pay it based on the terms and all those things so that's, that's different okay so how why it's different yeah of course the company is spending a lot of money on this uh, on this vendor so they give this discount like they give you 30 min 30 days time to pay the invoice so, you know, since they're buying in bulk not I like us we're buying one or two um, <clears throat> once in a while so this is taking some time sorry about that but this is how it works um, mm, so let's see it will show up eventually somewhere and uh, so again if you let me open a session in the meantime uh, we go to ANST again and again here from here you can select web infra application program since I'm in a lower uh, uh, sport environment here you can also put fury apps also just to let you know so if you want to learn how the fury is coded you can put this and this is like a trace and it will tell you all these things so here you can put program name and all those things so this is really helpful so let me see this is still 90 percent so in the meantime just just for fun we'll just put fpl1 and just make it a little fun description can't be empty so just to show you again I'll just test we just want to use use our time so that you know you you don't get bored and you learn something so here you can see the vendor line items this gets generated and I hit the back button and I hit the back button and the same thing so this is faster because if you notice this uh, this has less enhancements probably that's why but this is still running and let's see what one point someone will finish I think 98% is the the hurdle they they have to reach before they get it so again uh, the moment this this arrives we can we can see um, and again FBL 1N is again used for uh, vendor invoice details you want to see whether they are in the vendor invoices that are open cleared all items whatever you want and you can search with company codes and further you can search with other uh, vendor other uh, filters yeah. uh, still running okay oops this is this is too much still running okay so probably let's let's do an okay this one came up so this was for FPL 1N of oh, fine FPL 1N here you can see all the customer codes you can see so if we click on customer code you can select so select at least one component if I want to see and I click on customer code and this will take me to go through all the baddies and all those things and will tell me what are the different codes are there and let me see the other one still is running uh, okay, this is that one. Sorry, I think this one is not this one. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the goods receipt one. So here, what we are now now going to see, we will just click select material management, and we'll click on customer code, and from here, you can find de depending on the type of enhancements you have, the type of which module you want so like I want to check material management stuff so I have to select material management and all those things if you want to see other stuff like cross application finance side because it creates a 
uh, um, accounting document you can see so here you can see this is the only place the code is getting called it's a switch for in the FPL one end but for Nico it's you can see there are so much places it's getting called so here if you double click on one of these you can find what which particular piece it's getting called so you can see choose program you can select the program and eventually it will take you to that piece of code where you can probably put your enhancements and all those things so this is taking some time again sorry about this it takes time because i want i don't want to make up data i just want to show the real system and sometimes it may be faster for you and sometimes it may be slower i just don't like to make up data and show you something crap uh, so here this is the refresh table so this, this is not the one thing probably we will go to the function updates and here you can see the function modules and from here you can see you have uh, this enhancement point and all those things where you can enhance so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a